wanna be a coke boy. Everybody, everybody wanna be a coke boy. Everybody, everybody wanna be a coke boy. Everybody wanna be a dope boy. Everybody wanna be a coke boy. Everybody, everybody wanna be a coke boy. Everybody, everybody wanna be a coke boy. Yeah, that's perfect. That's got to hurt. And we have the new tire, guys. BF Goodrich, and it completely smells like new rubber in the Jeep now. But let me go ahead and just set this guy up. So here's the new tire, guys, on the wheel. I left off this strip lug nut because this was the key lock that I can no longer use, but I went ahead and got some some new lug nuts that I had ordered. So I'm gonna be putting these ones and literally replacing all the lug nuts right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace this one, but also I'll be replacing all these. And this is like the janky key lock that I had on these that got rusted out and I had to figure out a way to get off because there was no other way to getting it off. And then I also went ahead and bought some spray so i can spray the inner wheel wells and make them look all nice again so i'm going to be doing that because i'm going to be taking off the wheels anyways on the cutlass so let's go ahead and get started on this guys next morning and it's a lot cooler down it's not like the middle of the day where it's scorching hot here in Arizona I went last night I got some of this paint for the wheel wells and we're gonna be using this it's like a flat black it's not gonna be like that rubberized texturized shit that I did not like how it was looking so this will look a lot better so we're gonna take off the wheels right now and paint all the wheel wells and then once we put back on the wheels we're gonna put the new lug nuts on make it a lot nicer you guys are gonna see the difference all the lug nuts are like completely rusted if you guys haven't seen already so let's get to work before it starts getting scorching hot here in Arizona tell me what it's worth no. tell me what it's worth no. I came from the dirt no I put it work like on Mesa Ferg like on Mesa Ferg no I put it work no I put it work
God, guys, it is hot as hell. But anyways, we just got done painting all the wheel wells and took off all the wheels and put the new lug nuts on so no more rusty lug nuts with the rusty ass lock key that got stripped on me. Guys, that was such a pain in the ass and I was struggling trying to get that uh, strip uh, key lock off. But finally, we got all the wheels on and we couldn't push it into the garage because when we dropped it off, I don't know if you guys saw the first video of me bringing the Cutlass back home to our new house, I couldn't roll it all the way into the garage because it had that flat tire in the back. So now that we got the new tire in the rear, looking all nice, we can finally put the Cutlass in the garage where it deserves to be and not under the sun all damn day. And especially when we go to vinyl wrap it, it's going to be nice to vinyl wrap it in the garage because that's most likely where it's going to be going down. So, so new updates with that coming very, very soon. But the first thing we need to do is get this thing started. So it still needs a new battery. I still need to drop the gas tank. Need to get all the old gas out of the gas tank because it has been in there for several years. And I definitely don't want to start it with old gas. So need to get new gas in there. Um, need to do an oil change and it should start right up when I dropped it off at the storage yard It still ran and drove perfectly just needs new brakes. I need I know I need new drum brakes That's definitely something that needs to be installed soon uh, Before we get this back on the road, but in the meantime getting in the garage I'm gonna be having a couple of my bros come over so we can push in the garage because guys this car weighs a shit ton There's no way I'm gonna be able to do that because I need to throw it in neutral So I need someone to throw it in neutral so, and then I need like two or three of my guys just like pushing it in front them so it's a heavy ass car we're gonna do it so I'm trying to bring something unique to YouTube something that you don't really see a lot I've done a lot of the import cars but I wanted to bring something nostalgia back to me and something to bring to life to you guys so you guys can see in YouTube because not a lot of you guys have probably even seen like a 1971 colors not especially not the way that I'm gonna do it I'm gonna make it look in so pristine so oh it's easy once it's flat Finally did it guys. Finally got the Cutlass in the garage. Shout out to my dad for helping me push it in here. My boy Tanner that lives pretty close by, he was supposed to come help me out, but he was busy around the time when my dad was pulling up. So me and my dad was like, all right, let's just try to push it in. Got it in the garage. So excited. Now it doesn't have to be roasted in the sun all day long and it can just stay in the garage. And also I didn't like the tension of it just parked in the front driveway and like all the neighbors would like drive really slow. Like I would see it all the, all the time because I have like a front camera in front of the house and it's connected to my phone and I get like notifications when someone passes like at the front of our house on the in the street. So I always see that. So a lot less tension towards the house. But it looks so sick in the garage. It's awesome because I never had this Cutlass in the garage back when I had it back in the day. When I used to drive it all the time, it used to just be always out front of my parents' house because the garage was always full of stuff. So it's awesome to see it in the garage. It is so sick. I got some of my son's like toys over here, but I have a clear pathway. So if I ever want to work on it and stuff, because I do, need to get this thing running. That's the next step is to get this new battery. I need to do the oil change and I also need to get out the old gas. So I need to drop the gas tank or just get a thing to get the old gas out and get new gas in there and it should start up because this used to drive and run perfectly uh, back in the day before we dropped it off the storage yard. So I'm very excited, super excited, honestly can't tell you guys how hyped I am to be back and driving the Cutlass once I do more things to it get a nice exhaust for it that's definitely on the list 
and you know just get a nice wrap because this this old faded paint is not doing it for me once it gets a whole new color and stuff it's gonna look so much nicer guys it's gonna look it's gonna be a game changer I can't wait to see this a different color from owning it for so many years and then seeing it with a new color change I'm I'm not even I was gonna say and give you guys a hint but I'm not even gonna say anything but just know that's gonna be coming very soon I am picking out colors I just need to get in contact with someone to vinyl wrap it so it's all in the works now guys now that it's in the garage I can finally do more of the steps of what I want to do to it and I got more parts on the way and just like more cosmetic things and just to make this car nice and restored and making it look fresh but yeah more videos coming guys hope you guys enjoy this video this is going to be it I'm going to do a little b-roll I hope you guys enjoy the b-roll I'm super excited for what's coming for the channel and for the, the Cutlass build we out here guys peace I'm in that vet, uh, going tops, we can't start at the light Nothing but net, uh, can't stop me, fake a left, hit a right Sipping that drink, ayy, I miss wild with Tristan, my spray Dead like a bat, yo, tank all wins all through